you guys. Happy Tuesday. I hope everybody had an awesome Tuesday. And I went to Wegmans, right? I got me some crab mac and cheese. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you all haven't been to Wegmans yet to try their crab macaroni and cheese, not craft, which is what my dad keeps thinking. Crab. I need to just try this, like. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. Let me put this away because this ain't what y'all here for. Mm, give me a minute. It was funny because my dad was like, how much does the macaroni cost? And I was like, dad, you get it from the hot bar. It depends on how much you put in there because they weigh it. So I got some mac and cheese for him because he wants to share it with like fit kid and mom. I'm like, oh, that's cute. So his came in like six bucks. And he was like, you get that little bit for six bucks? And I'm like, dad, chill out. It's delicious, like stop complaining, okay? <laughs> but enough about mac and cheese. Y'all saw the title? I'm here to talk about my dreams and not my, uh, you know, physical real life dreams. I talk about when I'm asleep, those dreams. Okay, because I had a weird dream last night and then I had a weird dream the night before last night. So I was like, this isn't gonna be a test, it's sort of a testimony, kinda sort of, I mean like, Kind of. I'm just gonna put it in testimony anyway because I did pray on some stuff, but let's get started. Okay, so first and foremost, I've had a similar dream three times. I've had a dream about my dad dying. Horrible, isn't it? The first time I had a dream about my dad dying, I was at a funeral and it, not a real funeral, just in my dream. I was at a funeral and somebody was carrying the casket down the aisle and then everybody was crying. I was like, who died? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I was like, who died? And someone said it was your dad. And I was like, ah! And then I woke up. And I was like, oh my gosh. That was a nightmare. Second time, I remember we were all sitting in a room. And then my dad was like sitting in the middle of something. And then he just falls over and dies. And I'm like, ah! And then I wake up. And I'm like, oh my gosh. That was a horrible dream. Last night, not last night. The night before last, I had a nightmare that my dad had died. Like, I didn't see him dead I didn't see the casket or anything but for some reason I knew that my dad had died and I was on my computer I was writing a Facebook status I was trying to figure out how to word it because I was so upset I was trying to figure out how to word it I was trying to you know tell my friend and family on Facebook that I had lost my dad but then the weird thing is we were sitting at this table it was mom fit kid and I I was sitting over there trying to write the status even though I couldn't word it correctly and then mom and Ethan was just sort of there sort of like across from me just sort of not acting like they didn't care, but Ethan was sort of leaning on mom, sort of playing around, because you know in this family we play around. So Ethan and mom were just sort of over there like teasing each other. So like, they were technically acting like they didn't care. And then I wake up and I'm in a complete panic because like, that was such a vivid dream. And I was like, oh my gosh, I had a dream my dad died, it was so scary. So then, uh, like I, I said a prayer, I was like, God, can I not have dreams like that again? Like, I don't like dreaming about my dad dying, okay? Like, I don't like it. Especially not the one a couple nights ago. Like, I woke up legit, uh, I, I was like legit scared and don't like laugh at me, but I, I woke up and I was like crying because I was like grateful that that was just a dream. I was scared, like what the heck does this mean? Like, if, am I dreaming like foreshadowing his death or something? And then I was angry, like, come on, like, why, why am I dreaming about my dad freaking dying? Like, why? I wasn't watching like murder mysteries before I went to sleep. That's what my mom does. She be watching like forensic files before she goes to sleep, like at 11 o'clock at night. I'm like, mom, how are you looking at this stuff? So I'm just like, why me? So I prayed and I was like, God, can you please like not have me dreaming awful things? That's basically what the gist of my dream was. I was like, I put you in control of my dreams. Can you just protect me while I sleep? Like, I don't want to be feeling like I got hands on my chest, like demons, it was like, I don't, I don't, I don't want any of it, okay? I don't want any of it. I was like, God, can you please just control my dreams? Cause you know, if you're in control of my dreams, I won't dream about death. So thank you, love you. <laughs> so I did some research talking about what does that mean when you dream about your dad dying? And I have to, let me go find the actual article so I can read to y'all like what I know. Because I actually told my dad about this too. Okay, so I'm on Quora.com and here's what this person said. Um, so I had to go eat some more of that mac and cheese. Um, 
Basically, she said that the dream could mean hundreds of things, but here are four of them. Number one, you really love your dad and you're going through losses or changes in your life right now and feeling a lost sense of security. I don't think so. Well, I do really love my dad, but am I going through changes? I mean, I'm always changing. Maybe. Number two, your, your father was a horrible person and you wish he was dead. Number three, there's a part of you that's changing or ending and that part of you may be similar or remind you of your dad in some way. Hmm. Mm -mm. Number four, you watched a terrible movie in which someone died and then had a phone. No, no, no. None of that's real. So, I don't really know what that dream meant. The fact that I've drunk three times about my dad dying. Mm. I don't really know. This one says, the dream of your dad dying is not a warning about his death. Rather, it asks you to let some negative aspect of yourself die so that a more positive one can find expression. The negative aspect is connected with your dad. You either copied or develop it as a result of your relationship with him. It does not matter if your dad is already dead or you have not seen him in many years. It is the effect that you are carrying today that is the target of the dream. Male energy is affected by your relationship with your dad and gives you confidence, belief in yourself, creativity, individuality, various spiritual gifts, and more. The dream can be about any of these. Dad said it has something to do with the fact that whenever I'm driving with him, he'll always be over there yelling and then like acting a fool. And I'm just kind of like, oh. So he said that that, like me getting mad at him whenever he's like yelling at me is like the negative aspect of myself that I need to let go so that I can find a more positive one. I don't know, but I'm staying off topic. Anyways, let's talk about the dream last night. This was after I had prayed to God, like asking him to just take control of my dreams so that they can be pleasant. Here's what I dreamt about last night. <laughs> and it's kind of funny, but it wasn't funny then. So I had another nightmare. And basically, I was walking down the street, right? And there was this guy who was following me. And I was just kind of walking, and the guy was behind me following me. And I was just like, you know, just kind of look, looking back, making sure, like, is this guy following me? So then I get into my car, and the guy who was following me, he walks past. And I was like, good. But then, like, <laughs> This isn't funny. But then like, I was trying to shut my door, put the key into the ignition in my car so I could drive off and get away from that guy just in case he was following me and he's headed to his car or something to you know, drive after me. I was trying to get off. But for some reason, my door wouldn't shut. <laughs> I couldn't get the key in the ignition. My body in my dream was just sort of stiff. Like I couldn't do anything. I was like, what is happening? It, it's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, my body was just sort of stiff and I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. And then the guy who was following me, he gets in the car behind me. I guess I must have had my back door open. He gets into my car and I'm like, no. <laughs> it's not funny. This was scary. And then I'm sitting there like, no, no. <laughs> And then the guy, I don't think he touches me or like puts his hands on me or anything. But here's the weird thing. As I'm sitting in the front seat trying to shut my car door and then the guy's behind me, I'm like, I say this, I remember saying this or thinking this in my dream. I was like, this is just a dream. This is a dream. This is a dream and it's a dream. And then my dream instantly went to something more pleasant. I don't remember the more pleasant part of the dream, but I like, I knew that I was in a dream and somehow, when that unpleasant moment was happening, I was able to kind of change it into something more pleasant. And I know people can do that, and I read about it online, even though I don't have the technical term, but I was like, wow. Hmm. I was thinking about that all day today. Like, I prayed to God and I asked him because he, like, controlled my dreams. But I'm thinking, did he give me the power? <laughs> the power? Did he give, did God sort of give me the ability to control my own instead of him controlling mine? I'm thinking about that. Like, it's kind of like, it's strange. Like, either way, if I'm in control of them, if God's in control of them, it, that's perfect. Just as long as I don't be having these nightmares. And you know what? If I have another nightmare, I'm going to be like, nope, this is a dream. And I'm going to just change it like how I did last night. Really happy I was able to do that. But that's my testimony, flesh, dreams, and stuff. Whenever I remember my dreams, I usually, I don't write them down, I don't do videos on them. I just sort of be like, oh, that was a dream, you know. Mm. But, that's all I came on here to tell y'all. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
Before I wrap up this video and put some more mac and cheese into my uh, pie hole, I have to shout out my friend Shauna. Now I've known Shauna since like middle school, seventh grade, right? Was she even at school in eighth grade? Sounds great, I've noticed since middle school. And she started a YouTube channel, so me being a nice person that I am, I'm going to shout her out and tell you guys that if you want to go subscri subscribe to her channel or check out her videos, that would be amazing. You, would, you wouldn't, like, you would be very impressed. She is funny and she's very relatable. So uh, her uh, channel name is Malia Love. I'm going to link it down below in the description. Go check out my friend. And then, you know, if you like her content and you subscribe and you comment on her videos, say Alexa sent you, you know, so, so that my channel can, like, flood her channel. <laughs> I'm just playing. Don't do that. But go check out my friend. You're really going to like her content. But anyways, now I'm going to shut off the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Thumbs this video, thumbs this video up. And I'll talk to you on another day. Bye-bye. Oh. Good.